Sibiel Anaheim is less than a week away. We have our pools now, and it's time for our players to make some predictions for each pool. A is the first letter in the alphabet, if you didn't know, so we're going to start there. Red Reserve, E United, FaZe, Tainan Mines, and an open bracket team make up pool A. Maven, what do you have for me? All right, okay, so I'm gonna, it might be a little little interesting, a little bit off-putting to some people, but I'm gonna take E United and FaZe. And this isn't- Not gonna take red. This isn't even a knock to red, this is just history. Red belong in the loser's bracket. They live in the loser's bracket. Let's take a look at the year just with open events. So we start with Dallas. Second place finish in pools, they start in the winner's bracket, great. From there on out, let's go through it. New Orleans, third. Atlanta, third. Birmingham, third. Seattle, third. They have started in losers at every major open tournament since the very first one in Dallas. Now, I know you have scraps in the team, and should they be top two? Absolutely. But that's not where they live. They live in the losers bracket. Red, I'm sorry. You're finishing third again. All right, so Maven, he's taking E United and FaZe to top that pool A. Ben, what do you have? The only thing you could have said, Maven, that would be more wrong than what you did is that Tainan <laughs> Mines would finish in the top two. There is well, no I'm not way drunk. <laughs> Red Reserve don't finish one or two. It's just not going to happen. And here's the reason why. Bringing off my last point about E United, you're really telling me you feel comfortable in E United's ability to get out of that pool. Bear in mind, they'll also get the hardest team from the open bracket falling into that ben, pool. Ben, doesn't as well. Red Reserve strike you exactly like a team E United would beat, though? <laughs> like the top team from That's exactly I, I just, the team E United I, I comes out and beats. I really, really don't see E United being consistent enough across the pool play games, which is so bizarre to say considering the quality of teams you've seen this squad beat. For me, Red Reserve. Without a doubt, if they haven't proven it to you in their division, Division A, I don't know what more it's going to take. They are phenomenal. To me, they're the, oh, only, I think team, they're incredible. I they're just, the only team that can compete with Rise. They, they will come out of pools. I, I think this is the event where they, they definitely do. Uh, and for me, I can't possibly put United in my top two. They're just too inconsistent. Well, you, you, can't, you think they're just too inconsistent. I mean, talk about this pool. Red has been inconsistent. United has been inconsistent. Phase at open events, not good at all. So I think uh, They've been consistently both of bad, these yeah. points, yeah, consistently <laughs> bad. I, I like what you said, Clint. I think they do belong in, in the loser's bracket. It's just what makes sense. I mean, I would love to see them in the winner's bracket. How does that bracket. make They're number Hold one. Third. On. Give me a second third. here. Third. I'm third. I'm going to give you both third. one point. Four but, times in a row, Ben. But I'm going to add an extra point there for Maven just due to that. So two to Maven, one to Ben on that round. Just due to the sheer fact of, yeah, I feel like history repeats itself. But once again, you have United, you have face. Who knows what's going to happen to pool A?